Hello everyone, my name is Tim Joyner. I'm a member of Living Hope Parkway Baptist Church. The reason why I'm here is to share a testimony of how I received Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I received Christ in August of 1991. At that time, I was in the military in the United States Navy, and I really didn't know who God was. I really didn't know much about Jesus Christ, although I grew up in a church I didn't know too much about how to be saved or how to receive Christ as your Savior, and I did several things thinking that I was saved, but I wasn't saved at all. I came to the point in my life where I was really into music as a musician, and I was one of those people that wanted to be a rap star. And so when I was in Japan, I had, was very fortunate. I had a manager who liked the demo tape that I gave. Yes, we did use cassette tapes back then. And so I gave a demo tape to my manager and she gave it to some producers and they stated that they wanted me to come in the studio to make some music. And so I was pretty excited about that. Unfortunately, we had to leave and escort the USS Midway, who was decommissioning at the time, back to the United States. I was on board the USS Bunker Hill at the time. So I was so excited for what was to come with me starting my rap music career. But a strange thing happened. I was celebrating in Guam and partying with all my friends because all my friends knew what I did and they looked at me as, hey, it looks like you're gonna make it. And so we made it to Hawaii and then I was partying the entire time in Hawaii and I was excited and my friends were still, the celebration continued while we were there. One night while I was in Hawaii, there was a friend of mine that met me downtown Waikiki. Actually, he didn't meet me. I was in a Burger King with another friend and then another friend walked into Burger King and he was a Christian and he had been talking to me about Jesus Christ for quite some time. As a matter of fact, he gave me some Chick Publication tracks to read prior to that. If you don't know what Chick Publication tracks are, they're written by Jack T. Chick and they're in comic book form and it tells a story and at the end it gives you a salvation plan. Well, I read those things for probably about three months. And so my Christian friend walked into Burger King and when he came in that night, I said to my friend, what is he doing here? I said, it's late at night. What's a Christian doing out this late at night? And so anyway, the Christian came in and he was with another man and he said, Tim, this is Pastor Bowling. And so immediately for the first time in my life, I felt convicted about what I was doing because I was partying the whole time, I was drinking the whole time, but at that point when he said this was pastor, for some reason, it struck a chord in my heart. And so then he began to show me pictures of places that he had gone that day. He had gone to Pearl Harbor, he had gone to Diamond Head, he had done several different things around the island, and I wanted to go to Hawaii my whole life, and all I did was party. I didn't even go see any of those things, and so I was hurt. So later on, our ship was pulling out and we was on our way back to Japan. And in the middle of the night, I started thinking about what my life was going to be like once I got back to Japan and became a recording artist. And so I started asking myself questions in the middle of the night. So when you receive all of that money, what are you going to do? And I thought of all of the things I could do with that money. I thought about my family, what I could do with the money, and what I could do with so many other things, and buy the things I always dreamed of having. But then I asked myself the question, then when your life ends, then what? And so I thought to myself that once my life ended, what was life all about? What would it really mean? And I said, where would I go? Well, the honest truth is I knew that I would go to hell. That's how I felt about it. I know I wasn't serving God. I know I wasn't doing the things that God wanted me to do. And I know that there was a God, but I didn't exactly know who he was. But then the Lord brought to my mind all of those chick publication tracks and what Jesus meant in those publication tracks. And I realized that Jesus Christ had died for me and that he didn't want me to go to hell, but he wanted me to go to heaven. And so that night I asked Jesus Christ to come into my life and save me. 
And I tell you what, I was so excited when he did, I could hardly believe that it could happen. But little did I know at that same time, the Lord was dealing with me immediately. And he says, Tim, I want you to get rid of all that music. Now, this doesn't happen to everyone, but it happened to me. And I believe the Lord did it to me because he knew that music was my God. And music amongst any other thing would stop me from giving my life to him. And so the Lord dealt me about that music. And so I went into my lockers and I started crying and I started throwing all my tapes and CDs into a bag. I had spent so much money in Hawaii buying all these CDs. And I had music that I had even created from the time I was 13 years old. And I started throwing them all in a bag. And then I went up to what we call the main deck of the ship, which is a separation between what's above the ship and below it. And I remember sitting there thinking to myself, why, Lord, why do you want me to throw all this music away? And then there was a, a thought that came to my mind. I could make you the, the next biggest rapper that's out there. And I knew it was evil. And I said to myself, you know, I've been trying to devil all these years, but Jesus Christ, I didn't even give him a chance. So I decided I was going to give Jesus a chance. And so I took that bag of music and I threw it over the side of the ship. I can't begin to tell you how relieved I was when I threw that bag over the side of the ship. And the Lord let me know that, Tim, that was weighing you down. And so from that point on, I had been serving Jesus Christ. In fact, the next day I was so excited about receiving Christ, I went up to work and I told all the guys, you can't believe what happened to me. And they said, what happened to you? I said, last night I asked Jesus Christ to become my savior and he did, Jesus is real, he's really real. And they laughed at me. Oh, man, we were just partying in Hawaii and you're talking about Jesus is real. And you're saved. Well, they're right. And the thing about it is, I did party. I did do all those things. But Jesus had come into my life at that time. There were some that laughed at me, but there were some that later on accepted Jesus Christ as their Savior, just like I did. And I tell you what, it was the best decision I ever made in my life to receive Jesus Christ as my Savior. It's amazing what the Lord has done in my life. He's made my family musicians. He's made me part of musicians. He's made me a choir director. And we've done so much in the way of music. And God's been so good to us and so good to me. If you haven't trusted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, give him a chance. Give him a chance. Find out who Jesus Christ really is. And, and accept him as your Lord and your Savior. And I promise you, your life will not be the same again. Thank you.